Some months ago, I interviewed with a man named Gabriel Bruzon. Mr. Bruzon is the editor of El Mundo newspaper in Austin, Texas. It is a Spanish language weekly paper. And my husband and I had both grown up in South Texas. Lots of Mexican influence there, and Garcias and Gonzaleses and Pettises and a few Medinas, I'd say. But I had never met anyone named Bruzon, and I was curious about the origin of his name. He said he was from Cuba. His family had been there for four generations. And then I got really curious, wanting to know how he had gotten out of Cuba. What's the difference, Mr. Bruzon, if I were to take a picture of you three years ago standing on the street in communist dictatorship Cuba, and I took a picture of you today standing on the street in Constitutional Republic Austin, Texas, what's the difference? And he said the man in Cuba had no dreams. Everything was free. Healthcare was free, education was free, but we had no dreams. He said, I couldn't plan where I would live or where I would work or where I would go. And I thought that was pretty poignant. We're headed there, aren't we? Yes. As a country? Yes. 